Okay, by special request of Ethan, I'm recording Bell 2 today for all my Bellas to pay attention to. Este, este es el canal de Panama, Riley. Este es el canal de Panama. Este es el canal de Panamá. Mm, ayuda la red. This is a canal in Panama. Uh, casi, casi. Ethan? This is the Panama Canal. This is the Panama Canal. Riley? I just can't hear you, girl. Excelente! Madison! ¿Qué es este? This is the Excellent. El canal de Panamá conecta. ¿Qué significa conecta, Christopher? ¿Qué significa conecta? Casey. Me memoria, I need to knock it loose. ¿Qué significa conecta, Claire? Que se vea conecta Brendan. Excelente. El canal de Panamá conecta el Océano Pacífico con el Océano Atlántico. Addison. Um, connects to the Pacific Ocean. Todo, todo. El canal de Panamá conecta el Océano Pacífico con el Océano Atlántico. Um, the Panama Canal connects to the Pacific Ocean and the Atlantic Ocean. It's cool. El canal de Panamá conecta el Océano Pacífico con el Océano Atlántico. Emily. Excelente. Es un canal de 80 kilómetros y es de concreto. Concreto. Lucas, concreto. Ok, Joseph. Es un canal de 80 kilómetros y es de concreto. Joseph. Funciona. Red. Ya. Mucho. Este es un barco. Un barco. ¿Qué es un barco, Claire? ¿Qué es un barco? ¿Qué? ¿Qué es un barco? 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 ¿Qué Muchos barcos usan el canal de Panamá. Um, many boats. Use the canal. I mean, use the Panama canal. Perfecto. Barcos grandes y barcos pequeños usan el canal. James. Ships big and ships small. Los barcos pasan, pasan de Ocean Pacífico a Ocean Atlántico. Bryce, pasan. Pas. Los barcos pasan del Ocean Pacífico al Ocean Atlántico. Uh, María. Los barcos pasan del Océano Pacífico al Océano Atlántico. Excelente. 
Excelente. Red. O pasen del Ocean Atlántico al Ocean Pacífico. O pasen del Ocean Atlántico al Ocean Pacífico. Sí. Oh. A través del, a través del, a través del. Brennan. Uh huh. A través de. I don't know why they just picked the word poor, by the way. Because it's through or by. But, you know, harder words. A través del canal. Los barcos pasan de una ocean al otro. In un periodo de ocho horas. Takira. Excellent, Takira. Quanto tiempo? Para pasar de Atlántico al Pacífico. Christopher. Eight hours. In Spanish? Eight hours. Ocho horas. Sí. Me gusta su Spanglish. Es muy bonito. Okay. para llenar agua y levantar los barcos. Sí, es real. Okay. Explica en inglés la sistema de llenar agua, agua, llenar. Ready? ¿Cómo? Llenar. Llenar. Fill. I heard the yeah. word fill. You said fill. Red. Fill. Llenar con agua a el lago Guantún. 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 Okay. Actually, I'm going to do this part in English. So the Panama Canal is a marvel on its own. We'll talk about the good and the bad of it here in a minute if I've got time, which I don't, but I will anyway. So it fills it up with water as the boats come in here. All right, so it fills up from this lake here, which has run off from the mountains and all over the place. James? It's a really cool thing. I'm sorry? It's a really cool thing. It's really cool, especially when you compare. Let me finish this video. It's like 30 seconds long. Oh. Really, computer? Here. Either one took months in both. Remember, you have to 
pay your crews, you got to pay for your fuel, you got to pay for all of that, and the odds of you getting past these two really nasty capes right here, um, because the, the south pole is down here, causes all kinds of stuff. Like science teacher about that, change temperature, causes bad weather. Moving on. Okay, so President Roosevelt decided, well, he and his advisors, we'll give credit for it too, that they were going to change the world by building the canal here. But there was a problem. Panama didn't exist at the time. And this is a history lesson, but since it's about Latin American history, I get to teach it. Okay. And I'm going to teach it from the point of view of Colombia. Colombia, at this time, was just recently a free colony of Spain. They're on their own, they're trying to do their thing. The U.S. comes in and says, hey, we want your land. And the Colombians aren't crazy about that. So what they do is the Americans hire a group of people to come over here and start a revolution in a little tiny town called Panama City. Now, to be fair, it wasn't a little tiny town, but it was a beautiful colonial metropolis. Think Norfolk, the city of Norfolk, like when it was a colony. But not anymore. But back in the day, before, you know, sewage destroyed everything in the oceans, it was a really nice place to live. Same thing with Panama. By the way, if you go to Panama, you can spell what Norfolk spelled like back in the like, 20s. Moving on. So, they freed themselves, is what we like to say, but really, we basically created a small little American colony there. Um, I'm doing this from the Colombian point of view, not the American point of view, because I teach Spanish, I don't teach American history, I teach the Brown or whoever was in the colony. So, uh, we basically helped them liberate it, and then we said, hey, you new country of Panama, you owe everything to us, America, so we're going to take this strip of land and this lake and make it ours, and we're going to build a canal. To be fair, it was a marvel of construction. Like, I went to it, and I was like, this is kind of eh. But think of it. It wasn't produced by slave labor. It wasn't produced by big, heavy machinery. It was done mostly by hand. Shovels, pickaxes, backhoes, occasionally they could find them. But remember, they had to get them from here. Anyway, so they built this canal here. And what used to take three to six months can now be done in eight hours. Oh. Now, here's the really cool part. Because it was so amazing, and the whole world, like, this whole area over here wanted to use this canal. China would go this way, of course. But everybody over here would come through here. We put a massive tariff on it. The world's round. Sorry, I assumed that we knew that. I'm not going anywhere near that right now. Anyway, so everybody used it. So the U.S. owned land there. We said it was ours, and we taxed everybody who used it. A toll, so to speak. We love tolls here. I mean, you guys have been around here, you've seen them. So, for years, and we said we, we would lease the land for 100 years. Well, we kind of didn't give it back to them right away. It was a big thing in the late 90s when we actually did give it back to the Panamanian people. But now, Panama owns it, and they are making a fortune. For a country so small, they are making tons of money on it. So, fun little factoid that I get to tell you guys here. This class is over at 10.30 Okay, that's fine. So, uh, Nicaragua. It's a little country uh, right here. And Nicaragua has a massive lake too. And Nicaragua has been petitioning the world to build a second canal there. Why would you want to do that? Because it's at, it's it's it's. Okay, higher okay. Than the other. James, see how do other hands up? Yes. Uh, Addie. Maddie. I'm sorry, Maddie. Sorry, Addie. It's, um, because they would get a lot of money. They want the money. Okay. Why else would you do it? Riley? Um, I guess it's like closer to like the northern state. I mean, yeah, sure, it's closer to us, but we are the ones who want it. These countries are pushing for it. Carson. Was it because it was faster and that's why we got the Panama Canal. What about the hypothetical Nicaragua Canal? No. And why would we not want it as an American nation? Because it was. Oh. Go ahead. Uh, I thought we didn't have a good connection with Russia, huh? Modern political theory. These countries are probably not the best allies of ours. I'm going to go on a limb and just assume that that's a possibility. I'm not going to say it's a fact. Talk to the teacher. Um, we used to have great relations with China in World War II, but a separate issue. Um, but Russia, it was, eh, I won't go into that too much. But here's the thing. The Panamanian Canal is just not big enough. We are building boats that are too big to get them through there. 
and if it breaks, how many guys heard about the suit asking down that broke over the summer? Yeah. We, it, this right here, if this breaks, the whole world's going to change the way it does. Wait, wait, wait. So. What, you talking about the submarine? No. Um, I don't know what's going on. My uncle was on that submarine. I'm talking about a cargo ship that patched. So, it's a redundancy. It's good for the world as a whole. It's great for Nicaragua. It's terrible for Panama. Because as boats keep getting bigger and bigger and bigger, fewer and fewer will use the Panama Canal and they'll lose income. As a nation, they'll have problems. When nations become poor uh, financially, their people will choose other sources of income, uh, which we've seen in Venezuela particularly, and Colombia, if you, you know, watch Netflix. Um, but the problem is that whenever a country invests in something like this, that country that invests in it, for example, the United States for 100 years in Panama, they're the ones who benefit the most. Whereas nations that would use the word Nicaragua, who build it, they're the ones who benefit. It's all about the money. It's all about controlling shipping lines. All right. So, seguimos en español for like five minutes. Wait, you kept us here for five minutes? Are you dumb? Yes, I am. Calm down, children. I want to leave. I'm sorry. Oh, whoa, whoa, whoa. I want to get over here. What's he doing with school? No, I was having an issue with it, but there we go. Okay. El canal está dividido en varias secciones. Just. A canal is divided in different sections. Um, very serious. Brennan? Varios? Varios? Varios! Varios secciones. Hay con con puertas, con puertas, con puertas, uh -huh, con puertas en el canal. Hay uno acá, con puertas y otro acá, con puertas. There, there are gates in the canal. Uh -huh. Un con puerta es un par, par. de puertas. Las compuertas son enormes. Las compuertas son enormes, Billy. Huge. Enormes? Huge. Ahí está. Enormes. Las compuertas son enormes. Hay un total de nueve compuertas. Hay un total de nueve compuertas. James. There are nine gates. Uh, nine, uh, nueve pares. Nueve oh, pares. Oh. Carson? There's nine feet gates? Gate, or like nine feet long gates? No. Nueve pares. Nueve pares. Pairs. Emily. Pairs. Nueve pares de compuertas. Hay un total de nueve, nueve compuertas en el canal. Para entrar en una casa es necesario abrir una puerta. Kaya. Para entrar. Para entrar. En una casa. Es necesario abrir una puerta. 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 Para entrar al canal, Lexi, para entrar al canal es necesario abrir una compuerta. Pero, pero, Ethan, pero, las compuertas del canal son enormes. 
I forgot what pair I meant with one arm. But the gate to the canal or one. Si, sí, pretty. Pero las compuertas del canal son enormes. Excellent. Además, además. Mary, además. Además, están en el agua. Además, Eddie, están en el agua. Uh, additionally, they are in water? Uh-huh. Por eso, por eso, las personas no abren las compuertas. Brennan? Por eso, por eso, las personas, uh-huh, no abren Las compuertas. Las personas no cierran, no cierran las compuertas. Madison. Las personas no cierran las compuertas. Uh -huh. Unas motores, unas motores eléctricos. Abren, abren y cierran las compuertas, Brady. Unos motores eléctricos abren y cierran las computadoras. Or, las, las compuertas. See what you did there. Right there. Yeah, Claire, help him out. Change that word A to some. <laughs> is it uno or unos? Oh. That's a one. Ones? Yeah. Because it doesn't translate to English. Okay. So, Ray, unos motores eléctricos abren y cierran las computadoras, or las compuertas. Thank you very much. Have a great day. Hug a unicorn. Grab candy on the way.